Hello, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash give command in Minecraft to give items to players using command blocks. First, you'll need to get a command block. You need to make sure you're in creative and have operator rights, uh, or be in a single player world. Then do slash give at p command underscore block. Hit enter, you'll get a command block. You can place this down, enter the command, and use a button or other redstone device to power it. Now, the first way to use this command is with the at p selector. So if we just go into this command block here and type slash give at p diamond with spaces in between give at p and diamond, then if we hit done and press the button, we get a diamond because we're the nearest player to the command block. The at p selector targets the nearest player to the command block or wherever the command is being executed from. Next we have the at a selector and if we use this it'll give all players uh, in that game the item. So if I hit this I get another diamond because I'm the only player here and it gives all players um, the item. Next is at R. It'll pick any random player, one random player that's in the world, and give them the item. I got it because I'm the only player here. Next is if you use any of these selectors, and then type it as you had it before, but then do a space and then a number, then that number uh, up to 64 will determine how many uh, the player is given. So if I hit this button, I get 5 diamonds. And if we change this number to 10, we'll get 10 more diamonds. Next, we will give ourselves 5 golden apples. Here we have an underscore between golden and apple because you can't have a space. Otherwise, it'll mess up the command. It needs to be one word. And there are lists. Uh, I can link you to some in the description of all the items and their um, command IDs. Now, if we want to give these items a data value, for example, we want an enchanted golden apple, then we're going to do another space and then the data value. In this case, it's one. So if I hit this, I get five enchanted golden apples, uh, which is a golden apple with a data value of one. Here we're going to give ourselves a diamond sword, we use 1 is the number of diamond swords, and 0 is the data value. To enchant an item that we're giving to the player, we just add these curly brackets or braces. Then inside that we type ench, colon, and in square brackets we have our enchantments. We'll have more braces inside these, one for each pair separated by commas. Uh, one for each, one pair for each enchantment. Then we have ID colon 16 is the enchantment ID for sharpness, and LVL colon 5 is the level of that enchantment. Now if we hit the button, you'll see we get a sharpness 5 sword. We can use this to get some pretty crazy enchantments. Sharpness 10,000. If we go over here, and summon in a wither. You'll see it's a one hit kill on pretty much anything because it does a lot of damage. So I have to warn you uh, to be careful with this because you can easily crush your game uh, with crazy enchantments. Next we can give items to the players with a custom name. And we can do this by adding after the enchantment uh, section, comma, display, lowercase display, colon, and then in our braces we have capital name, colon, and then in quotations we have the name. Here's epic sword, so if I hit this, you see we get epic sword with sharpness 10,000. And finally, we can give our items custom lore by adding uh, after the display, comma, lore, ca lore is capital, and that'll be inside the same tag that has the name, so this is all under display. Then in square brackets, we have quotations, 
You see we wrote the most epic sword. If we hit this button, and we hover over it in purple text, there's the most epic sword, that's our lore. Uh, all these commands will be in the description of the video, so you can copy and paste those and use them in your Minecraft worlds, change the names of the items and everything. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.